الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على المبعوث رحمة للعالمين سبحانك لا علم لنا إلا ما علمتنا إنك أنت العليم الحكيم Today we will talk about Surah Wal-Adiyat Dabha Again this Surah is starting with Qasam Wal-Adiyat Dabha So by the runners Al-Adiyat is those who are running the runners it's the plural of al adiyah and dabhan means when it runs it make a sound of breathing and that's referring to the horses which was using used uh, on the time of revelation to make jihad so allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making an oath by horses used for jihad in while it is running and running in a way that a strong running fast running that it makes sounds because of its breathing and that's the meaning of dabhan the sound of the breathing running horses so these horses when it runs it hits the stones on the ground by its hooves, by its feet, so that will cause a spark of fire. And that's al muriyati qadhan. So the, this is another uh, description of the running horses. First, that it was running and making a sound uh, by its breathing. And number two, that when it hits in its fast running, the ground and hits the stones on the ground, it sparks a, a small fire that you can see. And that's فَالْمُورِيَاتِ قَدْحًا So al-muriyat, it's not from the verb yara to see, it's from uh, the ira, which means to spark a fire. فَالْمُورِيَاتِ قَدْحًا فَالْمُغِيرَاتِ صُبْحًا So al-mughirati subhan, those who make a raid attack in the morning again this is another qasam by another description of the horses so these running horses when they are running in the desert or on the fields uh, it will cause the dust to raise up and make a cloud. For that, that's what's meant. فَأَثَرْنَا بِهِ نَقْعًا While they are running, they cause the dust to go up and make the naqa. So naqa is that cloud of dust happened because of the running horses. فَأَثَرْنَا بِهِ نَقْعًا فَوَسَطْنَا بِهِ جَمْعًا Again here it talks about those horses when they comes, uh, when they when they attend the middle of the battleground, and that's fawasatna means come in the middle, bihi jama the gathering of the fighting armies. So this qasam, as we mentioned before, this is the oath. Allah is making an oath by the horses uh, in, in these different uh, description of them, the horses. What the oath is about? The oath is about that human being neglects the bounties that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, bestowed on him and he tends to be ungrateful of course this applies to the disbeliever the kafir as for the believer he must be he should be grateful sometimes we are not as grateful as we should because to be thankful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is not just to say alhamdulillah which is a big thing it is 
to live in this life according to the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to strive to please him all the time to perfect your ibadah to be kind to, to others to make da'wah all sorts of deeds that pleases Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you do those things as a way of expressing your gratitude towards your creator subhanahu wa ta'ala most people either they are uh, ungrateful because they don't worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala they are not believing in him they are denying his existence or they are worshiping idols with him or other false gods or for a believer a Muslim who is whenever he disobey Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or use what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given him whether it's wealth or power or knowledge uh, he doesn't use it in the right place in that instance he is not grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so it's a partial thing here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying indeed man is ungrateful inna al-insana li rabbihi lakanud and he's saying to his lord and the using of the word lord here rabb is has a purpose because a rabb is the one who created who who uh, he is the one who is giving provision who is the one who is giving life and protecting you and taking care of you how could you be ungrateful to him he's your lord so you see this is just to highlight um, that being ungrateful to the one who was who everything you have is from him is very ugly thing it doesn't doesn't uh, add up it, it is it is clear that this is something uh, really bad this is the first thing that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is making the oath about number two wa innahu li hubbil khayri la shadeed people human beings when it comes to materialistic things money specifically they are so in love uh, to money they love money they love money too much a lot and that's wa innahu li hubbil khayri la shadid who is um, in love with money it's the the human being and this is a human nature almost um, everyone loves money loves to to have more whether it's in new cars big houses um, good jobs uh, this is part of our nature however this is not bad as long as you get it the right way and you deal with it the right way whether it is knowledge we are encouraged to have knowledge but don't brag about it share it with others use it in good don't use it for evil uh, if you have power don't become arrogant be just uh, so it is it is not it's a neutral to have all these qualities what matters is how you use them but the oath is about uh, the highlighting that we are in love with money that's that's and some people because of money they transgress because of this too much love to dunya and materialistic uh, things they start to deviate they want to get money not just through legal ways but maybe through illegal ways through haram ways then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala remind us all remind mankind by saying أَفَلَا يَعْلَمُ إِذَا بُعْثِرَ مَا فِي الْقُبُورِ وَحُصِّلَ مَا فِي الصُّدُورِ 
Doesn't he know when what's in the graves will be taken out? And what's in the chests will be collected. Means all those ideas, all those intentions uh, are, are being recorded and will be gathered and shown uh, to, to, to everyone. So the ayat says um, that he is in love of wealth, intense, but does he not know that when the contents of the graves are scattered, and that within the breasts is obtained, those information that you think you are hiding in your breast, in your heart, there is nothing hidden from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah ya'lamu sirra wa akhfa. He knows the secrets and what's behind the secrets, subhanahu wa ta'ala. The uh, surah included by Inna rabbahum bihim yawma'idhin lakhabir. It says, indeed, their Lord is acquainted, fully acquainted with them. Means human beings. Allah knows everything about us. There is nothing hidden for him. So if you know that fact, even when you are alone and committing a certain sin, remember that Allah sees you. You are trying to hide it from people. What about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Don't make him the least of your worries. You, you will feel shy to show it to, to others, human beings like you. How would you show it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Because you cannot hide it from him. So the ayat, this surah, is stating two facts. And is making an oath about them. Number one, our intense love for wealth. Which might sometimes, which might often lead us. To, to, to bad roads or bad uh, ways to sin uh, specifically and this is as we said a human nature so we have always to be um, mindful that our love for wealth shouldn't deviate us from the right path it's okay to, to try to be in a good position, to be like financially, uh, to get a good job, as long as it doesn't take you away uh, from, from the pleasure of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Number two, stating the second fact, that we tend to be ungrateful. We forget sometimes that even when we succeed, when we achieve, whether um, become successfully, uh, financially successful, or um, got a high degree, or got a high position, that it happens by the will of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who make it easy for us. He is the one who gave it to us. So we shouldn't be arrogant, we should be humble and grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. But this is a fact. Human beings tend to be great, uh, ungrateful. And that's the meaning of And one of the scholars, he was talking about this ayah. He said, mankind cannot in the sense that when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala hit him by a calamity, he remembers it. But when he bless him with a favor, he tend to forget it. So, يَذْكُرُونَ الْحَسَنَاتِ يَذْكُرُونَ السَّيِّئَاتِ وَيَنْسَوْنَ الْحَسَنَاتِ that's, that's a summary of being canute, being ungrateful. To remember 
only the problems you faced, the calamities you faced, but you forgot uh, all the favors, all the times when you were in stress and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala helped you and take you out of, of that uh, trial uh, untouched, unharmed, we tend to forget. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in conclusion of this uh, short surah is reminding us that Allah is aware, is fully acquainted of what's in our hearts. And also that uh, one day will come and we will be uh, coming out of our graves and we will be facing our um, uh, account uh, accountability. Uh, either if we do good, then it's, it's a good ending for eternity. If we do bad, then it is the hellfire. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect us. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, make us of those who uh, understand his message. Again, this surah, like the previous one, is reminding us of the day after. And that is very important, believing uh, in the day after, al-yawm al-akhir, al-imanu bil-yawm al-akhir is the remedy to purify your soul and to clean your acts. It is the driving force that push you to do uh, more good deeds. These times, we are in Ramadan, these times are a time to show that you care, to show that you are interested in pleasing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So exert more effort and go an extra step and do more good deeds whether it's reciting Quran or being sadaqa or all sorts of good deeds may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala guide us and make us benefit from the Quran aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfiru Allah li wa lakum wa assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh thanks for watching our video if you liked what you saw Please donate to support our efforts by visiting mymasjid.ca slash donate. Masjid al-Rahmah cares about you. To support the programs and services of our community, whether it's in your physical space or online through video platforms like this, our team invests strategically so we can continue to serve our community and to serve you. Don't forget to donate, like, and subscribe to our channel, and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of our future videos. May Allah reward you for your support.